we'll get right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start in uh, an AR and get uh, a customer created. And as we go through this, I'll, I'll add some more color and make sure um, I'm covering some of the different options that we have uh, for setting up these integrations. So I'm going to create everybody's favorite test company here. Uh, we'll get this syncing. Uh, all of these integrations do take uh, a couple of seconds to uh, run. So I want to make sure I get the data in there and started syncing while we talk through things. And we'll get a test email address in there. While it's syncing over, uh, I'll talk a little bit about some of the options that we have. So we try to take advantage of all of the features and functionality of both Sage Intact and Stripe. They both have their, uh, you know, their strengths in what they do, Intact being an ERP and Stripe uh, processing payments and handling billing scenarios and stuff like that. So we want to take advantage of all of their strengths. And so we try not to define exactly the workflow in either system, uh, but connect them at the most ad advantageous point. So we'll get, uh, we'll get a sales order created uh, so that we can uh, you know, kind of follow a typical sales order to sales invoice process here. Let's get some servers. Do two of those and some laptops. Do five of those. All right, so we've got a sales order in here. I think I've got everything that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and post that. We have the option to sync over uh, to Stripe, both as a direct to charge, but also as an invoice. So what you're going to see today is an invoice. And we can set that up on any order entry transaction definition or an AR invoice. Uh, we're going to follow a typical flow here and go ahead and convert this to a sales invoice. I'm going to go ahead and post the sales invoice. And then I'm going to switch over here back to sales invoice. We actually have this demo environment uh, set up for a flow where we're keying off of the state of the invoice moving to close. So if you've got some sort of internal review process or something like that, uh, we can support that or we can do it when it's pending. Uh, really anything that can key off of a Sage Intact smart event, uh, we can use to trigger these integrations. All right, so while that's syncing over, we should be over here in Stripe. We should have our customer. Wonderful. This customer gets created. It's basically just a shell. You do have access to your Intact customer ID. Um, in Stripe. And so again, we're trying to take full advantage of everything in Stripe, uh, all the, the features that you have, uh, you know, as the global payment provider. Um, and we should see that invoice come in in just a minute. While we're waiting for that, uh, the, you know, I, I mentioned we can work with pretty much any order entry transaction definition. We can go direct to charge. We typically do that from AR invoices. Uh, so as soon as that invoice posts, we attempt to charge any payment method on file. And then uh, we can also support contracts, right? Because uh, contract invoices will just generate an order entry transaction definition. So we can key off of that. I'm not going to walk through that whole flow today. They all work pretty much the same way as sales invoice. And we can customize it to meet anybody's needs. So let's, uh, let's see. So that is still running. Um, Looks like it took a couple of minutes for Intact to send the webhook through the smart event queue. So uh, we'll give that a second. And then I'll, I'll start to get ahead of myself a little bit here while we wait for that. Um, we're going to come in here to the invoice. It looks like it just finished. So this is the invoice I just generated. And you'll see that we've got a reference to an invoice ID and the invoice number in Stripe. And this is where the magic happens. So this invoice payment link is a custom full, full featured intact custom field on the order entry transaction definition. 
And you can do everything you can do with a normal field uh, and put that on your invoice PDF to print or email from Intact, or you can take advantage of the Stripe functionality of sending that invoice. Uh, you'll notice this is a Venn technology uh, uh, domain name for the link. This is also customizable. We can use your domain, we can use our domain, or we can use the Stripe domain. Uh, the reason this is set up with ours is so that uh, that link will never expire. Stripe does expire. The links after 30 days, they need to be regenerated. Um, and that can cause some problems in Intact with trying to post stuff in closed periods. So we, we do have uh, an ability to kind of customize that domain. So you'll see uh, we can open up the Stripe hosted. So all that did is forward us onto that Stripe invoice hosted payment URL. And you can take full advantage of every payment method Stripe uh, allows you to use uh, to collect payment. So we've got, uh, well, I'm going to pay with a credit card today, but there's uh, OAuth payment flows that you can use uh, to OAuth with a bank account uh, for international payments. Uh, you know, any payment method that Stripe uh, supports in those Stripe hosted payment pages, uh, we can take advantage of all the way down to a bank transfer where uh, you know, your customer can just send uh, a wire uh, or a transfer to this routing and account number. So again, I'm going to come in here. We're going to put in our test credit card information. Don't try this at home. You won't be able to buy anything. And I'm going to not save that. All right, wonderful. And so this uh, Stripe is confirming that the invoice is paid uh, and I can go ahead and download, download a receipt or the Stripe invoice here. And we should see that payment come back in. So while, uh, while that's posting, I'll talk a little bit about payments. Um, so we have, uh, we have a lot of options as far as recording payments. Uh, this can be a big deal for people because uh, reconciling how Stripe handles payments and payouts can be uh, a little bit of a challenge and everybody does it a little bit differently. So uh, the way that you'll see this payment come in, it'll just be charged to a bank account. Sometimes we, uh, most of the time we recommend setting up a bank account reference in Intact so that there's some reference of your Stripe balance because Stripe will hold on to all of the funds received in a given day take out any fees and then pay you out the rest in a lump sum. So that reconciliation step is really important. Um, and we support that all the way through, including posting the payout. So I'll show you all an example of what that looks like. So just to refresh the screen here. You can see that credit card payment came through. There's a, a reference to that charge in Stripe for the total amount. All the AR is relieved. Uh, that does show up in AR payments, but we're going to skip right on to the general ledger. Stripe payouts, uh, I'm not able to trigger those manually. So uh, I've got uh, an example in here on what that might look like. This is what the Stripe payout ID might look like. Um, and we do this anytime you receive a payout, we'll, uh, you know, credit the Stripe bank account or undeposited funds account, whatever you'd like to use. We'll uh, debit your actual bank account, the amount that's received. And then we'll also debit any expense account to cover those fees.